Hello, this is Haka Devine, and today we are going to be tumbling on Tumblr. And it will be a far shorter video than yesterday. Don't worry. No half hour or long D&D stories today. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Something very nostalgic and peaceful about having your windows open on summer nights. OP face reveal. It's a mosquito. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. I don't know what's fun. I hear the bridge. Oh, wait. I actually have to read the picture, not the title. Sorry. Big Farmer will try to sell you $20 cold medicine like spicy ramen doesn't cost a dollar a pack and orgasms are free. This one doesn't really work for our Brits, but still a great line. Damn, British people can't come. This is so sad. Big chemists will try to sell you a 20 pound on, on Paris ethanol, or like beans don't cost like a quid and, and a, a can, and having a wank cost fuck all. Did you want me to do that in a British accent? That's ridiculous. Wait, there were no baggage fees before 9-11? For 20 years, the nation has been paying the temporary baggage fee. He first built as a way to help the airline industry. Industry bounced back after the September 11th in attacks. Yeah. No baggage fees, no TSA line, no removing shoes. You could bring water on the plane. You, know, you could bring a whole meal. If you didn't, they would give you one free, whether you ordered it or not. Why are they just forcing meals on people? Hmm. Some of you will see the warning on Q-tips saying, Don't insert into ear canal, and take it seriously like some kind of chump. They want your ears full of so you can't hear the world around you. My shit's so polished I can hear the constant streak of the earth turning on its axis. I have tinnitus. <laughs> ah, that's what that noise is, okay. <coughs> I stepped outside of the front door of my own home only to find a deer that tried to kick my ass last year sitting right there in my front yard bold as brass am I not safe anywhere anymore? For those of you who were not here last year, this deer is the most obnoxious, unnatural red-orange color I've ever seen. Only a few years when it's raining, and once changed me a quarter mile through the woods. Her name is Hot Cheeto Hatred, and she is my nemesis. Dude, I think that's a fairy. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's definitely a fake creature. Don't tell all it your name. And don't name it. That was a horrible thing to do. <sighs> One of my favorite things about FMA is world building is that you get to you actually realize how Edward Elric is the only person who dresses like that. And you don't recognize him from that alone. I always bit my tongue. Crack team of experts I've assembled to kill the entire cast of Overwatch. Hang on, let's see who we have here. I, I can recognize a few of them, I think. Let's see, the dog thing from Pikmin. I think that's a Toho character. That's the main character from Fate Grand Order. I don't even want to know what that is. A rich CEO guy. Probably needs to die. Anyway, um... 
a Star Wars Lego bot guy. Another robot guy. Some guy that looks like he belongs in like a GTA a game. And I don't even know what the heck this guy is. Mission accomplished. I guess. I not ought to be able to kill him when you have the entire or er, or the of uh, everyone that the main character from Fate's Grand Order can summon. So my fridge is covered in fanboy pinups I got when I was a subscriber to this porn artist Patreon, and I just have have like so many fanboy pinups and and also a furry pinup on my fridge. It really is quite erotic. My Wi-Fi password is on the fridge. So whenever someone new comes over and I obviously let them use the Wi-Fi, I tell them the password is on the fridge. And they go look at the fridge and I met with all this fanboy ass and are like, where is it? There's a lot of stuff here and I reiterate, it's on the fridge and they go, where? And I come over and type on the fridge in their phone and they get so mad. That's a good, good idea. Oh, this Pukacho post, I remember seeing it myself. DM me if you want ringworm. Hey, can I have ringworm, please? Free ringworm. Consider my worm ringed? How much? Give it here. Don't fucking DM me. Someone blaze this post. No. <laughs> Perfect. <sighs> when things don't want to load. Forbidden dress. Target face up monster on field until the end of this turn. That target it loses 600 attack but cannot be targeted or destroyed by other card effects. Forbidden lance. Target one face up it. Monster on the field. This turn. This target loses 800 attack but is unaffected by the the effects of other spell was in traps. Who keeps giving her these things? Forbidden sculpture. Okay, I need to actually zoom in a little bit. If a monster battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, negate all other card effects on the field until the end of the damage step. Also, damage calculation for this battle uses each monster's original attack and defense. Forbidden Chalice. Target one face up monster on the field and the until the end of phase. It gains 400 attack, but its effects are negated. I love when the internet goes slow, don't you? She ends up condemned too. Condemned Maiden! During your opponent's turn, you can activate one quick play spell card on your hand. You can only use this effect of Condemned Maiden once per duel. Wow. This is such a sad story. Damn, bitch! Get together! Solemn scolding! <laughs> This is the only set card in your spell and trap zone. When a monster would be is is summoned, or a spell card, trap card, or monster effect is activated, pay three thousand life points to get the summon or activation. If and if you do, destroy that card. She's the Dark Lord now too. Oh my goodness. I guess she got it together though. 
Good for her. Is this what my phone translates the last card to? Fallen Angel of Lost Music. Oh my goodness. That's pretty much Satan, isn't it? Hey, guess what? Her old friends joined her. Good for them. Fuck shit up, ladies. Hell yeah. I want to add those two girls' names as cards. They're pretty great names. Indulge Dark Lord. And Capricious Dark Lord. I don't think the effect is actually really the important part. I'll say 100% drawn to be placed at Condemned Dark Lord's sides. Condemned Dark Lord. This is what peak polyamory looks like. Oh my goodness, they are beautiful. Truly made for each other. The evolution of this is phenomenal. No kidding. Well, that's right, I don't remember clicking on a link. There we go. <sighs> Right. What kind of a monster would let a German scientist experiment on them to protect their country? No, but this scene is extremely important. And it's why I'm angry at people who say that Steve's characterization sucked. Steve is the only one who understands where these two kids come from. He'll try to dissent and Steve from them because right after he says his line, she says, we're not at war anymore. She's trying to prove that Steve did the right thing because when the country is at war, we all make some hard choices that we are not proud of. In war, everything is permitted, and Steve did the right thing because he was doing it for the right cause. He was basically saying, you did to protect your country and to save people and to make a difference, but these kids have no excuse to volunteer to do a scientist. But how does a Steve reply to that? To her, we're not at war anymore? He says they are, and it's so important because Steve sees the big picture. For most Americans, the war is something ugly that the grandparents had to deal with. Something in the descent and past that left at the mark, but it's always uh, is also way behind them. But just because there wasn't a war in America for over 70 years doesn't mean that in, in, in other countries have been so lucky. And Steve gets it. It doesn't mean that he's not mad. It doesn't mean that he will not fight them um, if they're on the opposing sides. But he knows where they come from. And he won't let them be reduced to some monsters who let German scientists experiment on them. Because if Steve was anything but American during World War II, if he wasn't on the winning team, he wouldn't be labeled as a hero. My favorite line of Cap in AOU. Also, let's, let's be reminded that I'm quite sure it was... Really insane for Steve to be frozen for 70 years. No, to come out and learn he's been frozen for 70 years. I didn't and learn that Nazis still exist. Given that he came out like 2016 or 2017. Oh my goodness, he came out right when right in like the worst sniper situation. Think about how there are people who literally actually speak Dutch every day and it's normal for them to and they just have to unironically speak the language to live their lives and not for comedy. How the fuck do Dutch people have sex? Seriously, like, 
spank me, daddy. Give me in the clap, papa. I'm trying not to laugh. You can't be serious. Oh gosh. Okay, this is gonna have to be the last one. I'm gonna be real, I did not need to see that Google Translate. I love Generating characters, but hate, hate, hate the Zions or Canon buff dudes are wispy little fairy ladies and Canon tiny women are beefy ass male linebackers. If you're not in it for jacked women and twinks, then what's the freaking point? Gender brand, where they look ex the exact same except they have a slipper set left on them that says woman or man. You understand my vision. Woman. <laughs> but I'm gonna make a bunch of these to prove a point, but realize halfway right through that Lady Bane is, is my ultimate butch fantasy, so now I have to go lay down. Um, okay. Yep, and that's it. Hey, we made only 16 minutes long, that's pretty short for us. That was r slash Tumblr. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I also noticed that about 90% of people who are watching in my videos are not subscribed. You should probably you do something about that. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!